This presentation is designed to introduce you to Metastock and accompanying software and data. It is not intended as a recommendation to buy or sell. The information, software, and techniques presented should only be used by investors who are aware of the risks inherent in trading. Equus International and Thomson Reuters shall have no liability for any investment decisions based on the use of their software. Any trading strategies or any information provided in connection with these companies. Thank you for your interest in Metastock software. In just a moment, you will see a demonstration of the Metastock Power Tools. Our presenter will use real market data to show how Metastock can help you do everything from finding the right trade, to knowing when to take the trade, to testing your trading strategy. Metastock has been helping investors make better trades for over 25 years. Hundreds of thousands of copies have been sold in over 97 countries. Moreover, Metastock has won the Stocks and Commodities Reader's Choice Award for the last 16 years. And Metastock is a product of Thomson Reuters, the world's leading source of intelligent information for businesses and professionals for over 100 years. If you are currently trading or just thinking about it, you likely have a goal to become successful. And yet the vast majority of traders are not successful. The reasons for failure in the market are as varied as the traders themselves. Generally speaking, successful traders follow several basic principles. 1. Trading is about beating the odds. You won't always make winning trades. To be profitable in the long run, you simply need to minimize your losses and maximize your wins. 2. Don't trade with your heart. Experienced traders know that emotions like fear and greed should have no part in trading decisions. 3. Have a plan with realistic expectations. Finding a method that works for you and sticking to it is a critical element to long-term success. Successful traders rarely become successful overnight. Finally, many successful traders employ the science of technical analysis to help them forecast the direction of the market. Stated simply, technical analysis is the study of security prices over time to help predict future performance. The primary tool is a chart showing price and volume. Just as a weatherman uses past and current weather trends to forecast the weather, traders have been using technical analysis for decades to forecast the market. Imagine if you could use technical analysis to scan thousands of securities to provide a list of stocks that match your trading criteria. What if you could choose from over 100 strategies developed by industry experts to help you decide when to buy and when to sell? What if you could test your strategies on a multitude of securities to see which one would have performed best over time, before you spend your first trading dollar? Finally, imagine having access to real-time market data, just like the professionals, including lightning fast market news. Well, this is what Metastock Power Tools is all about. They include the Explorer, a powerful search tool used to scan the market for the best trades based on your customized criteria. The Expert Advisor. This amazing tool puts a virtual expert by your side to show you not only when to buy and sell, but also to provide a commentary explaining each system and indicator. And finally, the System Tester. This essential tool allows you to backtest your strategies to see how they would have performed over time, a critical step for any technical analyst. Now, let's take a closer look at each power tool and how they can help you become a successful trader. As you've just learned, the Metastock Power Tools will help you in identifying trading opportunities and help you know more of when to get in and when to get out. As we move into the Metastock Power Tools, I'd first like you to take a moment and look at the chart on your screen. Here we see a typical chart with price and volume. If you were just getting started with trading and you were to open up this chart, would you know whether you should make a trade? When trading, you may not know the best time to make your move into a trade and certainly you don't want to rush into a trade. And that's where the Metastock Power Tools will help. One of the most difficult things for a trader is finding a trading opportunity. And that's where our first tool, the Explorer, starts working for us. The Explorer lets us scan the market or a select group of stocks to identify possible opportunities. So let's actually start there. I'm going to come up to my first power tool, the Explorer, click on the binoculars. And the first thing you'll notice is actually quite a list of possible scans that we can run to identify trading opportunities. If you don't find what you're looking for built into the Explorer, you can actually design your own scans as well. 
For example, today we're actually going to come down here to the MACD buy signal. If you're not familiar with the MACD, that's okay. We'll find out more about it in just a few moments. Let's actually go ahead and click on Explore here. Now again, if you're interested in scanning the entire market, you can do that. If you want to select a, just a select group of stocks, you can do that as well. For our example today, we're actually going to just scan the S&P 500. So I'm going to open up that folder select all those stocks and hit open. Hit OK. And now the Explorer is going to take the MACD, look for a buy signal with that particular indicator and eliminate out all the other stocks that I don't want to look at. So it's really saving me some time here. OK. We now have a list of stocks. Let's go ahead and hit reports. And you'll see it's kicked back just a, quite a number of stocks for us here. Let's actually just pick a few. I'll click Open Chart so we can take a look at these. Okay, let's go ahead and hit Close, Close. And first off, what we're looking at here is General Mills. I can actually just click this button and be able to see all the charts that I opened up let's just go back into General Mills. Now that I have General Mills open, I know that I have a buy opportunity on this particular stock because the Explorer told me I did. But what do I do now? Well, first off, I scan for a MACD buy opportunity. So I could actually come up here into the Metastock Indicator Quick List, grab the MACD, and apply it to my chart. Hit OK here. Okay, so now I have the MACD indicator on my chart. Well, I may not know what the MACD is, and I want to learn more about it. So what I can do, and this is one of the best features in Metastock, besides the power tools, is actually the help function. So if I click on help, it will actually give me a definition of what the MACD is, give me an overview, and walk me through it. Well, that may be great for some people. I may be able to read it and kind of get a definition uh, out of a dictionary of it. But what I may want to do is I'm more of a visual tr learner, okay? So I may want to see how it actually works on my chart. I'll come up here to our expert advisor. Now the expert advisor is the tool that gives us buy and sell signals on the chart. It gives us commentary telling us how to be interpreting what we're seeing on the chart and then taking it to the next level. As you can see here, there's actually quite a number of experts built into the program. Let's actually go ahead and match up the MACD, which is our scan that we did. I'll go ahead and hit attach and close. And you'll now see that I have a buy signal highlighted on my chart. And we get an alert saying the MACD has just crossed above its signal line. This is a bullish signal. Okay, well let's go ahead and look at this just a little bit more. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. I'm going to grab one of my drawing tools over here. And we'll see here with my buy signal, and I come down here to my indicator, I had a crossing of the signal line, just like my alert said, and that triggered a buy signal for me. Now if I go back in time, you can see I have crossings and every time I do, a buy or sell is triggered. Okay. Now what I can do is my next step, I'm going to right click on my chart here, go to Expert again, and go to Commentary. And the commentary is really where the expert gives you depth of what you're seeing on your chart. It really walks you through what you're seeing and how you should be using that information. Okay. So it gives me more definition on the MACD, tells me exactly what's happening with General Mills, and then walks me through more information. So the expert can really give me a full view of what's happening on any particular security. For just a moment, I'd like to show you another expert. I'm going to detach this expert. and I'm going to switch our charting style here to candlesticks for just a moment. And I'll go back into the Expert Advisor again. 
Now, a lot of people use candlestick charting because it tells a story. And one of the hardest things to do is understand that story. So we have experts built in around candlesticks as well. So if I hit this, it will actually walk me through different candlestick patterns and explain to me how to be using those patterns. Let's just go into our expert commentary on this one for just a moment. And you can see it will do the same type of commentary for me and walk me through what the candlestick patterns mean. So this is part of the expert is also an educational tool to help you understand different charting styles, different indicators, whatever it is you want to do and learn more about, Metastock can help you do that. Okay, but let's jump back to our expert commentary with the MACD. Okay, so now we have the MACD on our chart again. In looking at this, I can say, great, I have a buy signal, but how well has this worked in the past? Because one of the things to realize when you're trading is that different stocks have different personalities. So if I were to be trading General Mills with the MACD, it may work extremely well. But it may have also performed terribly in the past. At the moment, I don't know that information. So what I can do is I can actually use our third power tool, and that's the system tester. So let's jump into the system tester here, and that's indicated by the dollar sign up here at the top. Now the system tester lets me take my strategy, test it against my stocks, and see how well it's performed in the past. If it's worked well in the past, odds are it's probably going to work well in the future. If it hasn't worked well in the past, I probably don't want to use that. What we're going to do now is we're going to take our MACD, as we've been doing all along here, and we're going to look at all the stocks that gave us a buy signal today, and we're going to see which of those stocks actually performs the best. I'm going to select the MACD expert system here and tell the system I want to run a new simulation. Okay, right here it's just going to verify for me that I'm running a MACD, and now I want to add the securities I want to test. I scanned the entire S&P 500. I don't want to test all those. I just want to test the ones that gave me a trigger today. So I'm going to go to favorites here, go to results of the last exploration, double click on that, and these are all the stocks that met my criteria today. Okay, so let's go ahead and select all those stocks. I'll go ahead and hit open. Now I'm going to tell the system how far back I'd like to test. So essentially what I'm going to do is say, over the last two years here, about 500 periods, I want to know how well the MACD has performed against this group of stocks. If I wanted to change that, I could just select dates here. I'll hit next. And this is where really where the system tester gets good. Now what we can do is we can actually tell the system tester based off of our trading style, how much of our equity we want to put into a trade. Let's say you're not very risky. You want to put in approximately 20% of your money. Okay, we can tell it that. Let's say that you want to risk more of your money. So I want to risk 50% of my equity. So I can really tell the system tester how I'm trading at my risk level. Next, I can come down and tell the system, I only trade long, I only trade short, or I do both. So let's actually test where we would actually get in on a long trade. We'd go short when we get a sell signal. So we'll, we'll take that kind of stance on it. And now I can come down into the system tester and tell it even more information. When I'm getting in and out of a trade, I have a transaction cost. I can tell the system tester how much it costs me to get into a trade. Say it costs me $12 to get in, $12 to get out. That's an important part of the system testing process because it takes that money that it cost me to get in and out, out of the trade. Let's click OK there. Go ahead and hit Next. And then I can name my simulation so I can look at it later if I want to. Let's call this our MACD test. I'll go ahead and hit Start. Now it's going to test those 21 stocks, see how each of them performed historically, to help give me a better indication of how well I might do in the future. 
Let's go ahead and hit View Results. And now what you're seeing is a graphical representation of how well we did. Let's come down here and rank by net profit. So how much money we made. And I can see here that MGIC investment made me the most money over time. Next I can see Mylan was the second one. Now basically what you're seeing here is net profit ranked from highest to lowest, percent gain, the number of trades, trade profit and loss, so I can know how many winners I had and how many losers I had, and then how much average profit or loss I had per dollar put in. Okay, so Mylan actually had the highest profit per dollar. So let's actually take a look at that one. So I'm just going to double click on this, and this will actually give me even more information. It walks me through how much profit I made versus if I just bought and held this stock. And then it walks me through how many profitable trades I had, how many losing trades I had. Now this is important to look at because if I look at my average profit of $715 and my average loss of $316, my profits were a lot bigger than my losses. And that's one of the things that we want to look for. Okay. Another key feature in, in the system tester is an equity line. And this is an important thing to look at because this is what our money is doing over time. This equity line here is exactly what we want to see our money doing, growing. Okay? There are some little periods of drawdown, but we do want to see growth with our money. That's the point of trading, right? So that's the importance of looking at, at an equity line. So the system tester can really give us a lot more information to really digest the trade. So let's actually now go back and look at Mylan. Our symbol there is MYL. I'm going to come up here and open. Bring up MYL. And here's Mylan. Let's go ahead and click on our expert. Go back to the MACD and attach. And there's my buy signal for the day. And we can go back and we can actually just look at these buy and sell signals very quickly and see that it actually had worked very well in the past, but the system tester does it quickly and efficiently for me. You can really see how you can take the Explorer, scan the market for opportunities, take the expert to see how those opportunities are working and how the trade actually steps through. And then we can take the system tester to make sure that it is a system that we want to test and use the personality of the stock to match with the personality of our strategy. And that's where the real power of the tools comes together. Thank you for taking the time to watch this demonstration of the Power Tools. And if you have more questions on the Power Tools, I'd like to invite you to watch our more in-depth analysis of Metastock and also the free training available on Metastock. Thank you for taking the time to view this presentation.